Hello, welcome back to uh, another look at the DeWalt solar power setup. So today uh, I thought I'd pop out, there's a bit of sunshine and I've got the um, 6 amp hour battery being charged on the 12 volt um, car charger that DeWalt um, recently I bought at the show. Uh, really pleased with that. I might get some more actually. They do charge slower, but there you go, it's um, free energy. So I'm not complaining there, uh, very pleased with that. And the charge controller is the ProStar 15 and it's giving out, it has been giving out about 1 uh, amp to 1.5 amps solar into the battery and also the battery's stable at 12.7 at the moment. It was higher earlier when I was charging the uh, XR 5 amp hour battery so maybe this battery's taking a bit more juice but this, this ProStar 15 is one of those more commercial uh, charge controllers you can set it up for different types of battery on the yeah it's got a selection there different settings there's a little screw in the middle just turn that and then um, you can adjust it for sealed or flooded this one doesn't do lithium ion though uh, then you've got the handy mains uh, <clears throat> which got gets too hot this thing gets too hot that, that's why I've gone over to this uh, Dewalt charger because it's 12 volt and I thought to myself it's not going to have to use the inverter um, and I didn't overload it I used this meter put the plug into that and I didn't draw over the recommended uh, 200 watts which the inverter says it can put out in fact it was well below that uh, the Dewalt charger that I was using did not take anything that would put this handy mains inverter over the top but even so it's still got hot you can see the labels all melted uh, maybe there was a problem with it i did buy it second hand it did work but it was just getting too hot and i thought that is seriously wasting my solar setup energy uh, that's not the sort of thing you want to do when you're trying to get a free energy set up on the go i'll um I'll just include the solar panel on this, so I'll go outside and have a look at it. You've got the uh, Siemens 60 watt panel. I think it gives out about 3.5 amps on a good day. But yeah, very reliable. Another little sort of commercial panel that will last forever. In fact, I think this one's about 15 years old anyway, and it's still giving out plenty of power. Yeah, and the, uh, the battery that I've bought, or had it for quite a few years again is the L2680 12 amp sorry 12 volt amp 80 amp hour battery leisure battery uh, better for this sort of setup and I've, I've replaced the leads recently I, I need to sort of sort all the leads out this is just everything's on the fly at the moment but yeah I've got a nice fused lead there uh, it can be rated to 30 amps um, according to what fuse you put in for your own setup, but it, it, when I bought it, it did come with a few spare fuses, and uh, I wanted that uh, 12 AWG rated sort of cable so uh, it can take that little bit extra current. And the female connector's got that thread on it, which I can then mount into a panel. So now I'm, I'm starting to realise I can use this uh, mobile power not just for the power tools but for quite a few other things in and around the house. It's, it's becoming very useful. These uh, DeWalt USB chargers are great. They have the um, two outputs and also on the side you've got a DC output as well. Very useful again. Um, I'm just, every time I sort of uh, start to improvise thinking about what I can use these uh, mobile power for and it, it's just basically anything you can plug into it that's uh, going to get charged or run you can run it um, and also these little connectors here which I think they're more likely to be used for camera CCTV sort of surveillance 
projects and I got a load of those from Maplin's before they closed they closed all their shops and I think they're on the internet now they've they've now just gone online only but they, yeah these little um, DC adapters they're great you can get them in 2.1 or 5.5 mil sizes so I've got a few of those yeah you can see there's a few there I've got some uh, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. You can see there's all sorts of connectors there ready to just use on certain things. Again, this is early days. I'm starting to um, get a plan in my head on working out a control panel sort of board with switches and bits and pieces to make this project more doable. But at the moment it's all over the show. I'm just experimenting. And I've had a lot of this stuff for years just kept in boxes and stored away and stuff and I thought this is time to use it you know you need to get out and uh, do something I thought yeah get out there and make your solar panel set up um, get yourself a battery um, and in combination with the DeWalt tools I suddenly thought hang on a minute we can have mobile power all over the place with the Flexile and the uh, XR batteries um, so it's endless really the ap applications uh, lighting, charging, running power tools, plus loads of other things uh, that I haven't thought about yet. Well, it seems to be going well and um, I'm just going to carry on improvising. Uh, I like to get things that aren't quite designed for what they're meant for and then uh, using them for other things. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, I'll be back with another video. Cheers.